Today I have got a new package from overseas. So let's unbox it first and let's see what's inside in it. Here you can see we have got two different packages but for this video our main focus would be on this black box. Here you can see there are two more black boxes inside this big box. The smaller box contains the gear motors and the battery related items and the bigger box contains the chassis related items. So let me open them one by one. Okay guys, so now let's build the tank. This assembly process is really easy and being come with a good instruction manual with well detailed pictures are like the cherry on the top. Okay, so now let's do the same thing for the other side of the tank. Okay, so now this is the time to attach the tank wheels.
ok guys so now let's connect the gear motors with the wheels These are the shaft couplers. It will be mainly used for connecting the main rotor wheel with the shaft. Ok guys, so now let's connect the caterpillar tracks on the wheels. Ok guys so the tracks are on so now let's connect some wires for powering up the motor. Now let's attach these left and right side tracks with the bottom part of the robot chassis. The tank building part is complete. It took me around 3 hours 40 minutes to be precise but the main goal of this video is not getting the final product but also the thought, the action, the process that creates the car. Ok guys so now let's test the car.
Here I am using 3S18650 lithium ion cells for powering the tank. Okay, so the tank works perfectly, but this video is around 12 minutes long, so it doesn't make any sense to build an Adreno car in this single video. So in the next upcoming videos, we will be making several things with this tank. Hopefully you have enjoyed and learned something new throughout the process of building this tank. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more amazing content like this.